Hello, everybody. It is I, Granorite, and here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Red with our Gen 1 type challenge of Water Type. As you can see, at the end of our last episode, we evolved our Eevee into a Vaporeon, achieving its water typing. And now we are ready to go take on Erica's gem. Uh, we're going to be doing that primarily with Vaporeon and Gyarados. And we'll start out with uh, Vaporeon, and then swap to Gyarados. So down we go to Celadon's gym. Making the long ride over, and there we go. Hope everybody is doing well on this Monday morning. And there's our first look at our new Vaporeon in battle. Gets hit with a stun spore, that is not ideal. <laughs> yeah, I know you. I, I I do remember that always bothering me with the one guy looking into the gym because there's just a bunch of girls here, Kren. Uh, that is quite quite odd to put into a, ch a children's game, especially. Good ice beam there, Weepin' Bell. Our Vic Vaporeon. What am I saying, Weepin' Bell? Blah. Uh, now we're gonna swap up Gyarados for this next fight. Because Gyarados can eat the tiny plants. So I have a little scab right here on my nose that's itching. In fact, it looks a little red because I've been bothering it. I apologize about that. Oh, the Ash survived, but it flinched. So that's good. Bellsprout goes down in a single chop. It's another Oddish. Oh, we missed that bite. But he missed the Stun Spore, so that's good for us. That Absorb is going to do nothing. Oh, we missed a Tackle, too. And now we're asleep. Gyarados, come on, buddy. Just gonna drop a full heal on this. Good job, Gyarados. We'll swap Vaporeon up here. I am not the Peeping Tom. He's still outside. I saw him peeping in, but thanks for asking. I should switch it for Duck, because they're awesome. You're right, Duck is the best Pokemon in Gen 1. Only to be rivaled by Ditto. I don't... I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't miss Duck. <laughs> oh. Use that antidote that we saved. Okay. Oh, 
good critical Vaporeon. Good level up Vaporeon. Cut this open. We'll let Vaporeon take on the Execute. Actually, I want to switch Ice Beam to the bottom there. So we get to it a little faster. Good deal. Alright, let's swap up Gyarados. If you notice, Vaporeon actually got the most HP after that evolution. It's got really high special now. Woe is me. We heal the sleep, he put paralyzes us. Ugh. Yeah, I would that's exactly right, uh, Kren. Um Vaporeon's pretty bulky and it's got a lot of special. He'll be able to do very well as a water attacker. Good bite. Fully paralyzed. Come on, Gyarados. Good critical. Remember, all these grass attacks are just doing normal damage amount to uh, Gyarados because of his flying typing. Fully paralyzed. Come on. Gloom coming out next. We're gonna bite it. Maybe we'll get a flinch. Would be nice. Good deal, Gyarados. Alright, we'll swap up Vaporeon to take on Erica. Good ice beam there. That raise relief is going to hurt. Oh, 
All right, we're gonna swap the Shelter for the Tangela because Tangela only knows physical attacks, anyways. And we're gonna take this time to use a Super Potion on Vaporeon. Uh, and we will try to, we'll just use some try attacks on this Tangela. Since Shelter was able to learn try attack, and try attack is a lot better than tackle. We'll wait till he uses a bind on us to heal again. Oh, he missed the bind. Well, that's your problem, Tangela. All right, there's the bind. So since he's gonna hit at least twice, we're gonna go use a super potion on Gyarados. Ah, she used a super potion on Tangela. Interesting. Seems kind of broken that you can heal in the middle of a multi-hit attack as the AI. That does not seem fair. Air speed dropped. Shelter slow. He was slow to begin with. Ah, there's another bind. <laughs> this fight's just going nowhere fast between Shelter and Tangela because they both, uh... <laughs> they both hit for a little <laughs> and they both have high defense all right tingle is down it is annoying christian it is annoying kren i mean i don't know how else to put it that is not fair vaporeon coming out against the vile plume uh let's actually just switch body slam and ice beam because i'd rather use the special attack more than the body slam if able good hit here comes the pedal dance You weathered that really well, Vaporeon. And a good level up to level 30. Rainbow badge secured. <laughs> you are correct, Ride Your Bike. Vaporeon is super OP, but he's fun to use. Alright, so we got Mega Drain, and I think there's a small chance that Kabuto can learn Mega Drain? No. He learns Absorb in his regular move set. If, if you can learn Absorb, why could you not learn Mega Drain? Makes no sense. Alright, we are going to fly back to the Poké Center, because it's so far away. Well, welcome to the stream, Ride Your Bike. Glad that you're joining in the talk. Well, I mean, in Gen 1, Jolteon is the best EV evolution. Uh, we will swap up Kabuto for this next fight. Let me look at the poster. Yeah, just don't forget, special also counts as special defense in Gen 1. So having really good special works for two things. Flareon, eh, Gen 1. As much as I like Flareon, he just, he kind of does not get a lot in his favor in Gen 1. Thank you. 
Yeah, go tell your boss. I'm coming. Right behind you. Yeah, he has really high attack, but he's a fire Pokemon, which means his stab attacks go off special. Well, what's the point? Fight me. He does get overshadowed by Arcanine, you are correct. You are correct. We're going to keep scratching these Raticates as they bite our rock shell. Kabuto does have pretty low health though, so even though we're taking reduced damage from those hits, it still adds up over time. Burned. Let's grab this escape rope. So our next evolution is going to be Shelter into Cloister. Whenever that happens. It doesn't get all the attacks. It doesn't learn it doesn't learn Fire Blast in its normal move set. What are you talking about, Kren? Come on. <laughs> But he does get Fire Spin, Flamethrower, and Ember. Oh, and I don't think he learns Fire Punch. That's gonna hurt. Still took it down. Yeah, the only fire Pokemon that just learns Fire Punch naturally is Magmar, you are correct. And then the only other Pokemon that learns Fire Punch is Hitmonchan. Almost got that Zubat with a single scratch. Good level up, Kabuto. Coughing coming out next. We're gonna snap Shelter because he's the only one that has not hit level 30 yet. Ah, oh, good. We got a good clamp on this coughing because I don't like coughings. Grimer coming out next. Fire off a try attack. Ooh, he survived. Well played, Mr. Bond. Zubat coming out next. Got it with a try attack. And eradicate. Can we clamp the rat? 
Nope, cannot clamp the rat. Let's just bubble beam it. All right, swap up a shelter. This is the guy with the two Machops. Ah, we missed that clamp. Got him. All right. Good level up to 30. Shelter is trying to learn Aurora Beam. Oh, I was a few levels off. So let's learn Aurora Beam in place of, I believe, tr Bubble Beam. We have Clamp. As much as I like Bubble Beam, we're not going to be keeping it. We're also not going to be keeping Try Attack. All right, so let's evolve Shelter now. Excellent. And we're just going to keep Shelter up front until he gets the 31. So while we move around here, we could read Shelter's uh, biology. I got double edge there. Can um, Kabuto learn double edge? Pretty sure, like, everybody can learn double edge. I'll get Kabuto a fourth move. Finally. Alright, so Cloister. What do we know about Cloister, Cloister, Cloister? We know that he's an oyster. Um, so, Cloister is a black, pearl like Pokemon. It is encased inside a light gray shell, which is surrounded by a second jagged blue violet outer shell casing it has one barb like spike protruding from above its head and i better make sure i hit the right one here while i'm reading this and multiple conical horns on its outer shell its shell is harder than diamond with spikes that are even harder harsh tidal currents will affect the size and sharpness of these spikes on its pearl like face it has two white eyes and a mouth aside from its face and head its internal anatomy has never been seen once it has shut itself in, it is impossible to open the shell from the outside. This impressive defense allows it to withstand anything from a bomb blast to even a missile strike. Cloister typically only opens its shell to an attack an opponent. However, it is capable of retaliating against an enemy with its shell tightly closed. With rapid succession, it launches its spike at the foes, keeping them repelled. It can also attack by clamping onto an enemy with its former sig signature move, Clamp. The same projectile system it uses to launch its cell spike is also used for swimming. It swallows seawater and ejects it towards the rear, propelling it through, uh, propelling it with a siphon jet propulsion. Being the result of, of evolution via an evolution stone, cloister are rarely found in the wild, though they can be found on the seafloor nestled among the rocks and coral. Uh, but it will actively hunt on land for slowpoke tails. 
Cloyster and its pre-evolved form Shelder are relatives to Gastrodon, and Kingler is the natural predator of Cloyster. And the Pokedex information for Gen 1 for Cloyster, Red and Blue says, when attacked, it launches its horn in quick volleys. Its innards have never been seen. And for Yellow, it says, for protection, it uses its harder than diamond shell. It also shoots spikes from that shell. And just look at stats now. Cloyster now has a defense already of 125. It's got a slightly higher attack than special. Other than that, it's got pretty good uh, stats. Uh, just com comparison, uh, Gyarados has got pretty high attack. Uh, mediocre on everything else right now. Vaporeon has got high special and um, HP. And then Kabuto is now our not in our weakest member on our team but he will get there he will get there all right cloister So our last evolution that we have left is Kabuto. And he does that at level 40, so it is still going to be a bit. That is not what I wanted to use, but I guess it works. Let's get that key. All right. Get the items here. Get through the spinning area. You might be thinking, like, why are we picking up these items? Well, we would really like to get them so we can buy the TM for Hyper Beam, which we can teach to Kabutops, as Gyarados learns it in his regular moveset. Just a few trainers left. All right, good deal, Cloyster. We'll grab that Hyper Potion. We'll take on this trainer right here. Ideally, we would like to get through Pokemon Tower this episode, too. Looks like we should have plenty of time. We're about at the halfway point now. Our team is definitely getting powerful now that we're hitting those evolutions, like Kren said. 
coughing coming out next. It's not Vaporeon here. We're going to let Kabuto take on Giovanni. Go Kabuto, that's right. <laughs> you know, Kabuto's really not bad. He's just, you know, it's just the thing that he doesn't learn moves until he gets past 30. And so we've just been stuck with his move set thus far. You know, we've taught him Water Gun via TM. But he's a victim of circumstance. be somewhere on the way uh, down to Fuchsia by the time he evolves. I think that's when he'll evolve. Otherwise, we'll be in Sulfco. We'll just have to see. Oh. Let's get the iron. And let's give this HP up to Cloyster. And this iron to Cloyster. Vaporeon, show the Sandshrew what's up. Oh, good level up. It's trying to learn Water Gun. We will get rid of Sand Attack for Water Gun. Alright, we'll swap to Gyarados. And for the Sand Slash, we'll let Kabuto take it on, because he's got Water Gun. There are only Water Pokemon that doesn't know a Water Attack thus far as Gyarados. Got him. Got him. And everybody has a move that can hurt ghost type Pokemon when we get to Pokemon Tower, so that's good. I should have let Kabuto take on the Sandshrew. Oh well. Gyarados will do just fine.
All right, Giovanni time. Hello, Onyx. I'm gonna swap double edge up. Goodbye, Onyx. King of Skan coming out next. That's some decent damage. It's not the best. It's just Kabuto is uh, subject to his stats right now. Hopefully he doesn't knock himself out here. Good job, Kabuto. Alright, we got the self scope. We'll escape rope out. Uh, instead of using this Poké Center, we're just going to fly over to Lavender Town. We got a couple items we'll deposit really quick. Save those Pokemon power ups. We don't need this lift key anymore. So now let's heal. Make sure that Gyarados is up front because he's the one that still needs to level up to level 31. Make a quick trip to the Mart. Do you have full heals here? You do not. Into the tower we go. It's deal. Yeah, goodbye, Pidgeotto. It was not a fair fight. Gyarados v. Gyarados. Ours is better. Wasn't a fair fight. Next comes Growlithe. We'll send out our Kabuto. We'll let Kabuto take on Kadabra as well. We'll probably take a hit because Kadabra is fast. Oh, he tried to teleport. Ah! Double edge will easily take him down. And then for Ivasaur, we will send out Cloyster.
Easy peasy. Uh, we'll let Cloyster start against these, uh, ghost Pokemon. I would use Kabuto, but Kabuto only knows Water Gun, and this is uh, taking probably two to take out each one. Cloyster can probably do it with a single Aurora Beam, I would guess. Huh. <sighs> Nope, still going to take him to Aurora Beams as well. Ah, uh, Cloyster is paralyzed, of course. No, maybe we will let uh, Kabuto start out because we're going to want Kabuto and Cloyster to take on the ghost Pokemon, I believe. I'm not sure. We'll just wing it. Uh, what's the worst that can happen? Oh, it's going to take, like, three. Well, maybe we want Kabuto, then, to take on the uh, rockets on the top floor instead, because this is not conducive to Kabuto surviving and leveling up. Look, I was going to take four, even. And now he's paralyzed. Oh, that's a problem. I really need you to, like, hit it and take it out, Kabuto. Good deal. Well, in all hindsight, we will switch Cloyster back up. <laughs> we can clamp the ghost, which is funny. I'm honestly surprised that Cloyster is faster than these Ghastlies. Be cursed with me. Hua. Hua. All right.
good deal. Use the HP up on Cloyster. Good level up. Alright, we'll switch Vaporeon up to fight now. Confused, very gross. I'm not ultimately worried about taking some damage because there's that healing section right near here. It's more just annoying how long it's going to take for us to take out this ghastly. We have to hit ourselves twice before we hit it again. Zombies, schmombies. Another Haunter here. All right, water gun to finish it off. Vaporeon's probably getting close to leveling up too. Which isn't bad, I'm just stating a fact. 
Ah, now we are confused, gross. Oh, hey! Bloney Pasta, thanks for the Prime subscription for five months on the five month streak. Glad you're still following and subscribing to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for the return subscription. I do greatly appreciate it. All right, still pushing forward. Gross. Thunderbolt this ghastly. Oh, he's paralyzed, yay. But he didn't get a full paralysis, sadly. Finish it off with a dragon rage. Alright, now we'll swap up Kabuto. Still gonna take three attacks to take him out. Good thing he missed that bone club. We are weak to that. And then he used the leer. Good deal. Alright. Third water gun takes him out. Easy peasy. I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> Alright, Kabuto, claw through these Zubats. Good level up, Kabuto. All right. Couple trainers left. We'll swap Gyarados up since he's the last one that needs to level to 32. Flinch it. Nope. It's alright though.
last trainer up here. Good level up, Gyarados. He's trying to learn Leer. Absolutely not. Good critical. Okay. That takes care of Pokemon Tower. All right. Poker food achieved. We'll run to the Mart really quick. Don't need the Awakening because we have the Poker Flu. Don't need the Nugget. I think that's it. Save here, or not save, heal. And we will deposit the soul scope and that elixir. And then we will uh, switch up the Poco Flute because we'll use it more often. All right, and this is where we're going to end our episode for today. So hope you all enjoyed the episode, and we'll see you this time tomorrow. Take care, everyone, and have a good rest of your Monday.